In this video, I will be covering two things. First is how to create a blow up view. And second, well, second I won't reveal now. That is going to be the bonus for you. In order to create a blow up view, I will be going through this all steps. First, I will be selecting objects. Then, I will be copying them. Then, I will be pasting them as a block. Then, I will clip block first in rectangular shape and secondly in circular shape. For circular shape, we will require polygon for that. So that I will show you. And then in the end, I will be scaling my clipped rectangular shape block and clipped circular shape block to get a blow up view. The drawing which you can see on your screen is architectural elevation. The tools which I will be using to create blow up view can be used to create blow up view of any kind of drawing that you will be using or on which you will be working. For blow up view, first thing I need to do is I need to select the object which I want to include in my blow up view. So in order to do that, I will select my object with green color window which is also known as a crossing window. So I will select those objects which I want to include in my blow up view. After selecting them, I will copy them. In order to copy the objects, the shortcut key which I will use is Ctrl plus Shift plus C. On issuing this command, it will prompt you to select base point. I will give somewhere here. I will pen my view to this particular blank area and I will paste it as a block and that can be done with using shortcut key that is Control plus shift plus v I will create copy of this pasted block little away from this I created copy of this because as I said in one I will be using rectangular shape for clipping and in another I will use circular shape for clipping First we will see rectangular clipping for blow up view. So to clip this block in rectangular shape, I will issue X clip command that is X C enter. Then I will select this block. I will press enter. I will select new boundary option. Then rectangular option. And it was the first point. Then second point. And it got clipped in rectangular shape. Now in this case, to clip or crop in circular shape, I need to create a polygon. I need to specify sides nearly more than 30, so which will resemble a shape of circle. I will specify center somewhere in middle of this block. I will go with inscribed option. Then I will specify this much of radius. I will use X clip command then I will select this block I will press enter then I will select new boundary option in which I will select select polygon option then I will select this polygon if you wish you can remove this boundary or you can keep I will select it and I will delete it now it's time to blow up using scale command you can blow up I will select my block I will press enter. I will specify base point somewhere in middle of block. Then I will specify 3 scale factor. And it got scaled up. Same way you can clip this block which we clipped in rectangular shape. After selecting this object for scale, I will press enter. I will specify base point somewhere here. And then scale factor which I will specify is say 2. Well, I am done. The reason behind converting selected object or copied object as a block is that when you scale up the block the dimensions which are there within the block will surely get scaled but the value will not get changed that is the advantage as you can read this value 9 fit which is actually 9 fit well we are just done with how to create a blow up view now it's time for the bonus newer version like 2015 came with fancy looking selection that is lasso selection when you click and drag you will get this kind of selection which is known as a lasso selection 
if you are not comfortable with this selection like me you can disable it it's very simple you need to go to options to open option dialog box you need to press op enter on your keyboard and then enter under selection tab you need to uncheck this option and say okay well all done now when you will press and drag next time you will get normal rectangular selection thank you for watching my video if you like this video give a big thumbs up and if you are having any comments or doubts you can just comment it below thank you